My name is Nova and I'm a sneaker reseller. Join me in my journey where I turn hype sneakers into riches. I'm going to be using some bots that I've not used before. Whoa, I just got a bunch. Okay. That looks a little too good to be true. Poru just beat everybody. Kinda got a little bit more than I wanted to get. These colors in person makes it look like a goldish tint. First ever W on TSB. That was freaking sick. So good little warm up before the mochas for tomorrow, which I had to set up for. We'll see how we end up doing on the next episode. the ju 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 Before today, I thought I was going to be super duper prepared because for drops where I expect to get a decent amount of checkouts, usually the thing that's holding me back is the lack of billing profiles that I have. But for the Mocha release, which is probably one of the most important releases of the year, I told myself, you know what, I've been putting it off for way too long. Let me go ahead and try to make as many billing profiles as possible. If you're not a reseller, you're not a body, you have no idea what I'm talking about. For most websites, you can only check out once per credit card. So the more credit cards that you have, then the more you can check out. I decided to make 30 new billing profiles with a new virtual credit card provider. The only downside with this new virtual credit card company is that it won't take funds directly from your bank account as you make the purchases. You have to preload the funds into the virtual credit card balance. I set this up like about a week ago and I checked back yesterday and it says the funds will be available November 2nd, which is two days from now. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be super duper prepared like I thought I was going to be. Hopefully we can still get a decent amount of checkouts. The first drop is in 10 minutes. Let's go. Oh shoot. Oh my god, dude, this flu. Oh my god, what the hell? I did not expect that. This release is an absolute disaster. So basically, Foot Sites paused the release. I don't know what the heck that is about. And they haven't re-released it yet. According to the rumors, there's still a lot of stock left. And by the way, a few minutes ago, Shoe Palace 
dropped a thousand stock on their Shopify website and everybody absolutely feasted. Unfortunately for me, I quick tested it. I was there on the dot, but I ended up with some shipping errors. If I'm not mistaken, what had happened was I got proxy banned or throttled or something like that right when I was about to submit the shipping, which caused me not to be able to do that. So that's just a feels bad moment. Wasn't able to capitalize on that huge huge Shopify stock. They haven't re-released yet. I don't know what the heck is going on, man. Really annoying. Oh my God. Yes. I got one with my bot. <laughs> oh my god, I just got another one. Prism's really holding it down for me right now. This is absolutely good. Oh my gosh, I just got another checkout. What? That release was an absolute mess. I really hate when drops last for hours on end. The only thing that really went smoothly was Shopify, which unfortunately I wasn't able to cop from. As far as the actual results, I think I did all right. Not a checkout number that I'm super duper proud about. So far, only one of these got canceled. Usually they cancel right away. I'm pretty sure the rest of the orders are going to ship out. There was one fatal flaw in my setup and that's simply not running enough residential tasks. I know Prism did an update which reduced residential data usage, but at the time of the drop, nobody really knew how much data it actually reduced. So I just didn't want to be that guy that uses up like 100 gigabytes of residential data and then copying like only two or three with that data. But it turns out that Prism actually was able to reduce the data usage by a lot. So if there was one thing that I would have switched up, it would be definitely making way more residential tasks than I would have gotten a lot more pairs because I did get some pairs with residentials and I didn't even make that many tasks with it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for the restocks. We'll just have to see what ends up happening. I am absolutely sick of the FedEx and Nike combination. Oh, and by the way, when I'm referring to Nike, I'm talking about Nike.com or the sneakers app. About a week ago, I took a W on one of my dream shoes. I know these shoes aren't exactly super duper expensive and I know it's a GR, but it's one of the shoes that I've been wanting in my collection forever. So they shock dropped and I was able to take a W on it and I was super duper stoked and happy, especially since it was in my size. I was gonna keep it, I was gonna put it on my feet, but then it said delivered and it wasn't there. It got stolen. And if I had to take a guess as to why it got stolen, that's because Nike has branded taping on their outside packaging, which means, hey, I'm a pair of shoes, come steal me. If I'm not mistaken, Adidas does something similar. They should like, guys, just stop doing this. Like I know they can see it's from Nike and or it's from Adidas or it's from Foot Locker directly from the shipping label. But when it's just out there, it just makes it so much easier for thieves to tell apart, oh, which packages are worth stealing and which aren't. You know, they don't have to go that extra mile of having to risk their face being on camera or whatever they're wearing being on camera for a longer period of time by trying to inspect what's on the shipping label, right? So Nike or Adidas, if you're watching this, please do all of us a favor, not just for me, but for basically everybody who gets their packages stolen because of this very thing that can be avoided very, very easily. But the good news is that today there was a package delivered successfully from Nike. So here we have it, the Jordan 1 Mocha. 
Oh no. No. Why are some of like the most hyped up shoes, the quality is just not there. This is such a huge difference in quality in comparison to the Jordan 1 Lucky Greens that I unboxed the other day. It's not terrible, but at the same time, like it could use a lot of work. And it's a shame because the Nike shoes that I've been unboxing recently, like, is just a huge difference. The moment I touch it is like super buttery, smooth, and amazing, but that's not the case for these, in my opinion anyway. But nevertheless, these are very, very beautiful. This is my size. Uh, probably not gonna keep this one. We have dunks dropping in a few minutes. I'm not expecting to get these, meaning that I'm not really going for that many websites, only Kith and Nike sneakers. There's not many websites dropping these to begin with, but as always, when it comes to any profitable sneaker, it doesn't really hurt to try. So let's give it a go. by anti-bot oh come on dude what is that i was on point i 100 would have gotten this if i wasn't detected by anti-bot whatever that means i didn't expect anything to begin with but i feel like it's a bummer that the one time that i actually did things right detected by anti-bot i feel like i did set up correctly but who knows we got some more mochas that came in the mail today. I am waiting for more to get delivered. They basically shipped out almost all of them already. But speaking of mochas, the restock already happened on foot sites. I felt like the restock was really, really small. Not too many people had a huge amount of success for the bots that I usually use. And that's because of the anti-bot changes that foot sites have made on their platform. However, there are a couple of bots that have been able to effectively adapt to the new changes. And one of those is Torpedo. So I got a copy of their bot today, shout out to the Torpedo team and I looked at their success channels and oh my gosh, some people absolutely crushed it. So that's going to be the main bot that I'm going to be using for foot sites from now on in the foreseeable future. So hopefully they do restock more of these. By the way, Torpedo did announce a partnership with Notify, which is my cook group. Therefore, Notify did get a group buy with the bot today, so our members had a chance to purchase it for retail price. And moving forward, Torpedo will also be giving away free weekly license keys in the group as well. If you are interested in joining Notify, be sure to follow our Twitter and Instagram so you can stay up Updated. Anyways, these did come in the mail also. We got the Reebok X. Alright, let's see what they look like. Holy crap, that leather is super soft. I want to wear this, dude. What the heck? And I'm not sure if it's the hype getting to me, but this has like a really expensive premium look to it. Either way, I am pretty happy that I got these. Unfortunately, it's not my size. I probably would have kept it if it was. In a few days, we have some Sakai's dropping. I don't know what it is with Sakai's. I seem to do pretty well on them. I'm always able to cop at least one. And that's pretty surprising, especially considering that most of the websites that drop them are just Shopify websites. But I do have to admit that I haven't been doing really that well on Shopify. And I think it has something to do with my local IP address being flagged or something, or maybe I'm just unlucky. But nevertheless, we are going to be going for them. Can we keep our Sakai street going? Well. We're gonna have to find out on the next episode.